I'm Chris. And I'm Gina. And, and we, we are Hollywood Hunter. Chris said, hang on a second, but I started filming anyway. <laughs> I was going to set some stuff. No, cheating. So this is what I got going on here. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. All right. Do, 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 Okay, that was your little intermission. Need your tickets? Yes. Tickets. I will. Tickets, please. Tickets. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Gina's going to have to stand in here for three days. <laughs> Dressed like a usher. Usher. Doing usher moves. Whoa! You make me want to leave the one I'm with. And sit in a ticket booth. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to go back here. These are the last bit of the walls. And uh, I'm going to build a little piece that kind of braces this up and stuff. but. In here, these are all going to be windows, which Gina peeled all the plexiglass. Yeah, look, off. you guys. And they turned out really good. Yeah, and look, look, look. Oh, here we go. Look at this. You guys know what that's for. That's to put a little hand in there. Little hand. And yeah, then little we're going to have a prop that grabs it and never gives it back. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Everyone is going to lose their arms and hands. So this back one, though, is going to have a shelf. Yes, it is. Of window and that is what I'm working on over here so so you have this shelf and what I did is I cut a hole that's this, a nice hole it's gonna be in the top mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have some sides it'll stick it, it, it's actually going the wrong way but this is gonna go sink into the shelf there and then we have these old lights that we used in our walkthrough when we did our little cemetery walkthrough yeah we had these in the maze we're gonna stick these in there did you guys know we did a walkthrough once upon a time way back in the day probably not fully automated mm -hmm. all pneumatics i was on one side chris was on the other we sent people in and we had chris no made idea sure what was going on inside <laughs> People, some people would take two hours to go through, and other people would take ten minutes. Was that? I think that was 2011, 2012, right? Yeah. That was awesome. That was a fun year. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun, but it was funny how like we'd see people go in and go out, and then this lady went in and never came out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were like, she had a couple drinks. <laughs> she didn't, didn't realize it till she stumbled back through the entrance and was like, "How do you get out of here?" But here's what I want to know, because we had this problem. The next day after you guys have a, a, a walkthrough on Halloween night, mm -hmm. is it just us or do you guys have this too? But we walked through and I swear, like, there was a bucket load of candy. Like, <laughs> on there the was, sides. There was mounds and baby roots and, but, uh, <laughs> like, all along the sides of the maze. Like, and it was like this little foot trail going through and I was like dang people yeah we're losing their candy I got so excited because I saw peanut M&Ms I went down and yeah the bag was open and busted I was like yeah probably not gonna eat those yeah it was, but we just swept it all up put it in our bucket <laughs> for the next year for trick-or-treat <laughs> no we didn't I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I fed him to you <laughs> hey Ew. that's gross so yeah I'm going to <laughs> cut my next hole it's a three inch hole like I said nice hole yeah okay and then what I do after I cut the hole is I take this little <laughs> sanding What is disc. that? That's you know, interesting. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's just a sanding drum. Do you guys want to know what I did? What did you do? Well, listen to that. That sounds kind of bad, right? Yeah. It's because when I was drilling, <laughs> I put my hand on this button. Same and, it went, and this is the locking button that you use to lock it to where you can take stuff off and off and on and I think I messed it up <laughs> sounds good I think it's just an excuse to get a new tool Chris it is I don't know about top power tools that but their hand tools are good a long time until I broke it <laughs> just now so what else is new <laughs> <laughs> all right get to work all right the rain is getting to us okay here we go. What are we working on? All right. Oh, I got a tarp up over the patio. 
because it's been raining for three days. It's supposed to rain two more days. Ugh, it's killing me. Anyway, so here we go. We started drilling holes for where the lights are gonna go. And we made bigger holes afterwards. That way we can fit the sockets in here. Give you a little demonstration like this, obviously. That's the size. Then I have been filling in staple holes right in there. And I'm doing something different this time. We normally use Bondo, but I am using this. And it's really cool because it goes on pink. Let's see. Hurrah! Hurrah! It goes on pink and it dries natural. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? You can't even tell where the holes are. I mean, well, that one you kind of can, but you know what I'm saying. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just using a little putty knife right there. So here is some that I just did. And you'll notice it's pink in the center and it dries around that. And then in about five minutes, it'll be completely dry. I'll come back with my little sandpaper and go back over it. That is what's going on in my neck of the woods. Not too bad. I gotta paint, but when there's 100% humidity and rain and sprinkling and rain, it's a little difficult. I'm getting ready to cut my half inch thick plexiglass for the shelves. I got four pieces here. They're left over from a job we did in the past. And uh, you can see the blade I'm gonna use. It's pretty fine tooth compared to my wood cutting blade. This thing is awesome. It's really good for cutting laminate, fiberglass, aluminum, uh, brass. Um, it just a lot of different things, so. Cutting the cheese. No, no cutting the cheese. Yes, cutting the cheese. You need to cut the cheese. <laughs> Are you having fun drilling holes? No, it sucks. Okay. Well, she, she only has 200 more to go. Okay, so now the plexiglass is all cut, and now I have the sharp edge to uh, either sand or take care of somehow. I don't want anybody cutting their hands on it. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a, a little uh, eighth inch round over bit with the bearing here. And I'm just going to go around all the edges, flip it over, do all the corners, and that's going to round it all off. Now, what is going to happen though, here's some that I've already done. They're all rounded over and it's safe, but you'll notice that this edge needs to be polished. So. After I finish with this next one, I'm going to go back and I'm going to polish this. There's a couple ways to do it and I'll show you guys. I've got this little fogged up edge here and what I want to do is take some sandpaper, a couple different grits, try to get rid of as much of this dense as I can from the, the saw blade. And then what I'm doing now is just kind of doing a quick polish, polishing these edges up here. And to do that, what I'm doing is I'm clamping them in place and then I've got a drill with a little polishing wheel on here. And I've got a few different kinds of compounds. I'm mostly just using this one. There's several different ones. I've got some for metal and some for plexiglass and I just grabbed a couple different ones. Now there is a fast way that you can do this. It's kind of a cheesier way, but it does work. You can really carefully use a torch too and uh, just go up and down these edges, but uh, you just got to be careful not to melt the plastic. So too much, you know, you want to barely heat it up until you see it go clear. I don't really like using this method just because I feel like I have a little more control uh, with the polishing wheel. But if you've got a torch and not all this stuff, that works too. I think there's a knot inside this blade. 
So I'm still working on these panels that have the little shelf that we're going to do. And uh, normally I will route out the Luon inside like a window or door opening. But because I'm trying to save as much material as possible, uh, what I did is I cut out the piece using a uh, circular saw instead of a router because it eats up less material. And then what I did is I added my, uh, my three quarter inch material inside here. So because I did that, now what I'll have is I'll have enough material to attach it. It's like about an eighth of an inch on each side smaller, but it'll still work. And then that way that saves me from having to cut a whole brand new piece. If I would have routed it, I would have ate up at least that much material on each each side of it. So that's kind of nice, a little tip for saving some material. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill my holes for my little shelf pegs, because I'm gonna have two shelves here, and they're gonna be uh, removable, so I can either use plexiglass or a person could use wood. What I'm using is these little quarter inch metal tabs that have a little flat plate on there. And uh, I'm just gonna drill a couple holes and make this fit really nicely in there. <laughs> I think I need to go get a new roller. Sometimes it rolls and sometimes it just like, like right there, it's not rolling. The motorcyclist Roll. is running from the cops right now in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's not rolling anymore. It's a new roller too. Jeez. <laughs> What's going on in the freeway? <laughs> the race in the Sea Hollywood Haunter. <laughs> I doubt it.